Hey guys, Bobby here, and today I wanted to talk to you about the spreadsheet that I use whenever it comes to sourcing products on Amazon. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I will have a link down below in the description area of where you can get this Amazon spreadsheet. What Basically what it's going to do is whenever you click on it, it will take you to this form on Google, Amazon spreadsheet, sign up and receive your Amazon spreadsheet. So you just uh, put your email in and hit submit. Again, I will have that down below in the description. So basically, this Amazon spreadsheet, it, I will show you guys how to use it later on in other videos. But today I just wanted to give you a quick run through. So FBA or FBM, so you can uh, write that uh, right here. My store, which is the store that you're going to be sourcing from. Product, which is the product itself. Um, Usually I use Amazon titles for this section right here, just in case there's a bundle or something of uh, maybe two or three products. My cost, the competitor's price, which, you know, if the cost was $5, competitor's price is $14. Um, profit after FBA, uh, so the profit that you would make after um, you sell the product. Before I forget, if you guys want to know how to make money on Amazon with no money, I will have a link down below to that video in the description. Let's get back into it. The ROI, which is the percentage of how much you put in. So let's say the uh, product is $10 and it costs you $5. So that's a 50% ROI. Um, my source, which is the source that you get it from, which would be the website here. Let's say you ordered this product from Target. Um, competitors link, which will be the Amazon link that goes right here so that um, I guess whenever you're looking at your spreadsheet of all the products and stuff, you can click on it and make sure that the price is still relevant for you to resell. Sales per month. Um, so quick uh, thing here is, let's say that there are 30 sales per month. There are um, five sellers. And uh, right here you would put ATS PM, which I put amount to send per month because this is for replenishable products. So let's say you're the sixth seller here. So you would basically um, divide 30 by six. Um, I, get, I don't think it's going to be, let's do 36. So six divided by 36 would be six. So that means that you can send in six um, products per month. So and you'll be the sixth seller. That's why I didn't put six here because this will let you know how many sellers there are. Just add yourself into that number and it'll give you the idea of um, how many sales per month. Can I sell it? So whenever you um, go to Amazon, you um, Amazon's, um, what's it called? No, wrong one. Amazon's uh, Seller Central. When you go to Amazon Seller Central, there will be an Add Product button. And what you do is you take the ASIN of that product and you put it in there and you push um, you push the button and, and Amazon will tell you if you can sell that product or not. So uh, the reason why it's a good idea uh, to put products in that you don't sell, won't be able to sell, is because later on down the road you might be able to sell it. So let's say you come up with a product and it's a good product and you can't sell it. So basically what you would do is you would go here, put it in red, just so that you know that, okay, there's a reason why I put this in red. You look over and you see that it says, can I sell it? No. So another thing that I do is whenever I find a good product, I put it in green so that I know, you know, stop is red, go is green. So, um... That's kind of how I do that there. All right, now let's go on. Reset. Date deal found. So the reason why I put the date deal found is because it kind of motivates me. It's like I'll look and be like, man, I, it, it's been two weeks since I've done some product research. You know, it might have, you know, 11, you know, 10 or something, 11, 10, 20. And I'm like, oh, man, I need to do some more research. And then whenever you do find one, like, I would put 11, 29, 20 for today because um, this is the day I'm recording it. And it would might it might motivate me. I don't know if it will motivate you, but it motivates me. It's like, oh, yeah, I found one today. It's like, let's see if I can find another and then another. And then, you know, maybe a week ago by and it's like, yeah, I found, you know, three um, two weeks ago. Let's see if I can find some more. So for me, it's a self-motivator. Um, 
So right here is the note. Um, you might tell yourself, uh, just send in a few, because whenever you do uh, product research and you find a, a good product, um, even if it sells like a thousand a month and there's only two sellers, you might want to just you know send in a few. Um, like you can put send in five, you know, uh, send it in, test it. They all five sell, then send in ten, then send twenty, then thirty, until you know you meet the number that you should be selling per month. Um, I do that a lot before I uh, sink in a lot of my money into Amazon, uh, into a product to send into Amazon because I want to make sure I make money and not lose money. Um, sometimes you do lose money, but if you create this list and you keep going down, uh, if you create like a bunch of products, um, profit like outweighs other products that fail, if that makes any sense. Like if uh, one product failed, the other nine products will make up for it. So you shouldn't have to worry about any of that. Estimated shipping costs. That's if you did FBM, so and you sold one, and <clears throat> you find out how much the shipping costs for you to uh, do FBM, then you would write that down for a reference. So guys, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Again, the link to this form, this Amazon spreadsheet, will be down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an awesome day. See ya.